Welcome to the first talk episode of Extreme Umbreon Espeon. Today our topic is Fairy Pokemon. What do I think about them? What's been confirmed? I've there have only been some facts confirmed, but I've got a bunch of theories on them. What I think will be true, and I've got some facts to back it up. Anyway, let's start with Fairy Type Pokemon. There have been five confirmed Fairy Type Pokemon that are pure fairy. Sylveon, the brand new evolution. Not much is not much is known about it. But I believe on the Kalos map, there's a town that has something to do with Fairy-type Pokemon. I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if you bring your Eevee there. Or you probably... I'm guessing it has something to do with a certain item. I'm not sure. They've done items before. They've done location before. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Flabba Bay. The flower Pokemon. I get it. Every gen has their own plant Pokemon. I mean, Gen 1 had the Bellsprout family, the Oddish family. Gen 2... Sunkern, Sunflora, Sudowoodo, Gen 3, Lotad, all with a Ludicolo, Gen 4, introduced Beaudu and Roserade, and Gen 5 was Pansage and Sawaddle. I'm not sure entirely what they're going to do next, but, or actually, it's going to be Flava Bay, but I hope they have some more plant Pokemon. I'm a big fan of those. I like catching them early on, and they don't become very good use, um, later on, but really early on, they're actually really interesting to catch. They're very fun to play with. Anyway, the next fairy po Pokemon. Spritzy and Swirlix. Spritzy is a pink bird. It is the um, one of the Pokemon you can only get in Pokemon X, I believe. And Swirlix, I believe, is Y. I could be wrong. I'm going off of memory here. Anyway, there are, let's go over the three half-fairy Pokemon. But before we do that, the final fairy Pokemon. Xerneas. Xerneas is a mascot from Pokemon X. It has a signature move, Geocontrol, which has not been told what type it is. I do believe the English name is Geomancy. I'm not entirely sure if I'm correct, but I th I'm think so. Anyway, let's get to the three half-fairy Pokemon now. Jigglypuff. Normal fairy. I'm actually okay with that. Jigglypuff in Mount Moon was Jigglypuff and Clefairy were kind of known as the fairy Pokemon. I'm kind of glad they introduced that into the game now. Meryl. Water fairy. I don't get that why, because Meryl is pretty okay. It's got good defense stat. Not good against much else, though. No, nothing in good stat. Pretty slow speed, pretty low special attack and attack. So I hope I think they're trying to do that to give it some more all around, I guess. And Gardevoir, Psychic Fairy. Gardevoir always ticked me off in Brawl. I give my awesome Pokeball throw, and it's like, Gardevoir, it's like, great. It's, all it does is really shield. I'm guessing Fairy Pokemon, it'll give it, Fairy type will give it like a, some, some kind of stat moves to increase its, attacks and stuff. Gardevoir was never my favorite, but when Wally had it in Gen 3, I was so jealous because he was so strong. I was like, oh no! It starts out with his Ralts. It's like, haha, get your starter, kill his Ralts. And then he has Curlia, which is okay. And then he gets Gardevoir, and you're like, oh my gosh! Gardevoir is really good, but very time, I'm not sure why they gave it to Gardevoir, but that's up to you guys to tell me in the comments why you think so. Anyway, the four fairy type moves have been confirmed. Draining Kiss. Draining Kiss is basically absorbed for fairy type. Um, not, no, nothing's known about their power, accuracy, fairy wind, nothing known about power, accuracy, nothing known about that move at all, actually. But I assume it'll boost your fairy type moves for a certain amount of turns. I'm not entirely sure. They haven't released anything saying so. Geomancy. I do believe that's Geo Control. Geo Control was the Japanese, um, the Japanese translation for Xerneas' move. So I can see Geomancy being that. It's probably really good. They've not leashed, or not... Yeah, released, unleashed, whatever. Any power or accuracy for it. And then there's Moonblast. We've all seen Sylveon do that in the trailer. So I'm not sure what's a Sylveon special move. I highly doubt it, though. Probably all fairy Pokemon can know it. Because so far, no evolutions have had their own special moves. They're all moves that other Pokemon can know. Like Jolteon had Thunderbolt, Vaporeon, Bubble Beam, Flareon, Flamethrower. And then the, um. Espeon had Psybeam, and Faint Attack was Umbreon's. But now Faint Attack is pretty much every Pokemon. And Leafeon has, you know, Magical Leaf, which is pretty much all the Roserade, Roselia. And then, finally, Glaceon, new Ice Beam and Blizzard. Nothing good there, really. Okay, anyway. Let me get on to my theories. For, or first off, some facts. Fairy-type Pokemon are super effective against Dragon Pokemon. They did that because Dragon was really tough, but you can only beat them with other Dragons. And normally when you fight a Dragon Pokemon, you don't have other Dragons yet. You normally get Dragon Pokemon late in the game. So, and then you need, then, then if you don't have one, you need an Ice Pokemon. Ice Pokemon, they're really rare. 
I'm not, because ice beams are common, don't get me wrong. They're really common. Ice beam, blizzard, but ice Pokemon, they're normally a couple per game. So, um, Dragon was really overpowered, and Fairy is supposed to equal it out. So, I'm guessing Dragon is not very effective against Fairy, because Dragons are evil, and Fairies are nice, and blah, blah, blah. I personally hate Fairies, because my, le my Legend of Zelda experience has taught me Fairies are horrible. Okay, anyway. Okay, time to get on to my theories. I think Fairy would be weak against Dark, Ghost, Bug, and Poison. Here are my theories. Dark, you know, Theft, or Thief, whatever you call the move, steals your opponent's item. And then Faint Attack, you kind of underhanded attack. Um, foul Play. Foul Play is Zoroark's move. It's also, Foul Play is another word for murder, actually. Or, you know, suspected murder, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I think it's, and Fairy is all happy in life. That's why I think Dark's going to be good against it. Ghost for the same reason. Ghost is like dead, unhappy. That's why I think fairies can be bad against it too. It's either either gonna be good against ghost or bad or vice versa, the good against each other. Okay, so anyway, time to get on to my next. I said bug and poison. Here's why. Most bug Pokemon are bug poison. There's only a couple like Scyther bug flying and then Scizor bug bug steel. That's pretty much it though. I mean there's probably some other ones I'm forgetting. I'm doing this all off of memory. And the Wikipedia page right in front of me. I'm kidding. Okay, so anyway, here's why. Bugs go against Dark and Psychic. There's Dark is pretty good. They're more of a, a defensive wall, so Bug doesn't do much against them. And Hound Doom and other dual types can easily take out Bug Pokemon. Here's why I think, again, Psychic. The only thing is the other is super effective against. Or no, there's Grass. But people don't normally have Grass in their team unless it's a starter or they want to ride Go Goat. So pretty much, yeah. You can take out grass, then bug is good against psychic. Psychic is really good, it's good against poison. And most bug Pokemon are bug poison. And psychic Pokemon are not, are half the time, or actually over half the time. Of the 30 I looked at, a bunch of them. I'm getting no, okay. I looked at 30 psychic Pokemon compared to 30 bug Pokemon. 34, I'm oh gosh, I'm sorry, not 34, 24 of the psychic Pokemon are faster. Here is why I think that, because Psychic can easily take out Poison and Bug Poison. Psychic is faster, Psychic destroys, there goes your Bug Pokemon. So that's why I think Bug would be good against Fairy to give it something it's better against. Yeah, it's a, okay, that's my thing. And same with Poison, Poison's the same reason, so it kind of goes with, the, goes, goes with Bug. Okay, now on to what I think Fairy will be good against. Ghost, I said it already. I highly think Ghost, because Ghost is either going to be good against it, or it's going to be good against Ghost. I'm not sure which, or it could be vice versa. I don't think we've ever had one before, unless like dragons are good, good against each other. I think Fairy would be weak to Ghost, or Ghost to Fairy, whichever works. Fairy would probably be weak against each other. Considering the low amount of Fairy Pokemon, I highly bet that it would be kind of hard to, so far, there barely only been any Fairy Pokemon. That's why I think Fairy would be good against Fairy. Because the low numbers, if that makes sense for you guys. Also, I also think that, yeah, I think it's going to be a good week against ice and rock. Because rock, this is less evidence than ice. Because ice is pretty much only good against grass, flying, and dragon. And since dragon's already getting weakened, I think that ice, sh ice will be kind of overpowered then. Because if you have an ice fairy, which I don't think they have any yet, but if you have one... It would be like the ultimate machine, because it would be good against a lot of things. That's why I think Fairy would be good against Ice, so they probably won't have any Ice Fairies. But Rock, I'm not so sure again, it's just a theory of mine. Because Fairies have wings, and they fly, and they get a rock, and they're like, OH MY GOSH! So yeah, that's why, um, but I highly doubt that though, considering there's a Water Fairy. Meryl, so I'm not sure if they make it weaker, or what. And also, Xerneas does not look like he'd be hurt by throwing a rock at him. So anyway, those are my theories. Tell me what you think's right, and tell me what you think's wrong, tell me which I think you, I missed. It's all up to you guys. So thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm going to camp tomorrow, or, yeah, tomorrow. And I am staying up late tonight to pack, and to do some outside reading for school, which sucks. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, I've been through this before. Rrr.